Welcome back to DT Daily, I'm Caleb Dennison. Coming up, a biometric smart wallet, get easy A's in math with your smartphone, and will a real hoverboard be ready for Back to the Future's most famous date? Apple's Apple Pay system is big news these days, but if you're not quite ready to join the touch to pay future, well, we've got a wallet for you that's almost as high tech. Ironically called the iWallet, the hard shell device features a fingerprint reader and is available in either aluminum or carbon fiber. After setup, just glide your finger over the reader to open it. Oh, and if you happen to leave it at the bar and walk away, your smartphone will let you know. Conversely, the wallet can tell you if you forgot your smartphone, uh, you know, after that third drink. The iWallet costs about $600 here in the US, depending on options, and we strongly suggest George Costanza look into getting one as soon as possible. Do you fondly remember all those math tests from school days gone by? No? Well, we don't either. But kids today, they've got it pretty easy, especially if they have a smartphone and the new PhotoMath app. The app solves math problems and equations by taking a photo of the problem and using character recognition technology, translates it into digits your phone's computer can understand. Seconds later, you've got the answer. It makes those fancy graphing calculators look like they're from the Stone Age. App designer Microblink claims they're not trying to help students cheat since the app also shows the steps it took to solve the problem. Uh-huh. They say it's designed to be a tutor for kids who might not be able to get a math tutor. Sure, sure, whatever you say. Looks to me like it's just one more thing us parents will have to forbid our kids from installing on their phones. Good times. In case you missed it, this past Tuesday notched the one year mark in the countdown to Back to the Future Day, or October 21st, 2015. That's the date Marty McFly ends up traveling to in the flux capacitor powered stainless steel DeLorean in the 1980s sci fi film's first sequel. And what does he do when he gets there? outrides the bad guys on a hoverboard, of course. Now, there's a Kickstarter project that is working on making a real deal hoverboard, although it's not quite as versatile as the one star Michael J. Fox rides in the 1989 film. The Hendo hoverboard uses magnetic repulsion, so you have to have metal flooring of some sort for it to work. But hey, at least it does work. Hendo wants to develop a metal floored skate park for their creation, and you'll need to pony up 10 grand to get your own hoverboard. But they also have some truly neat swag for smaller pledges. When's it available? The target date is October 21st, 2015, of course. And that's DT Daily for today. We'll see you tomorrow.